this is Rena from Happy Downloads and I'm making a video to show you how to import your digital planner into GoodNotes. So whether you're using GoodNotes 4 or GoodNotes 5, these steps um, is pretty much identical. So you need to make sure that you're in Safari app and not the Etsy app. So in Safari, you can go to your Etsy account, log in and then go to your purchases section where you can download all of your digital purchases and you will see um, all the items in that particular purchase available to download. Or alternatively, you can go to your um, email account and Etsy should have sent you um, an email after purchase with all the download links. So once again, you will have something that looks kind of similar to this. You just need to tap on the main planner file. And then this screen will come up, tap on that share icon. So I've got both GoodNotes 4 and GoodNotes 5. You just need to tap on whichever one you're using. So tap on that and then that will just import in here we go. So let me go back and do the stickers book. So with the stickers book, it will come in a dot zip extension, but you don't need to unzip this. This will import directly in. So if I just tap on that and then tap on the share icon once again, tap on copy to good notes. Because I was already in a file, it will give me a um, slightly different screen. It will give me the option to import into this file. So I don't want to do that. So just do change location and tap on your documents folder and then import as new document. And if you go back, here it is in your documents. So let me just show you how to do that. In GoodNotes 4, it will be pretty much the same. Just tap on your main PDF, tap on the share icon, copy to good notes. You can pick a category or just import into uncategorized. Done. And here it is. And then going back and doing the stickers book. Share icon. Copy to good notes. So because I was already in the planner, you just tap on create new document and categorized. Just takes a moment to download. And here we go. So yeah, I hope that's been useful. Um, please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.